You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Radio Show, only on Financial News and Talk. Now live in studio, your host, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots. You know the actions you can take, how your family or business can benefit from current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day. We have a very focused show. We only chat about items that affect the roof over your head, your bank account, and anything I feel would benefit you. And let me remind you, if you ever have any home or finance-related questions, I am the consumer advocate looking out for you, and you can reach out to me directly, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or com. Just remember, that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are operators standing by. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. While I do have a great team, when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money, I personally work with you even if you don't have any needs today. Save this number in your phone for future reference, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. And, of course, we are celebrating today. Man, let's see what we've got to celebrate today. National Camera Day. You know, it's funny when you look at pictures of cameras when you're old like me and all the different cameras. And now you kind of chuckle when somebody's walking around with a camera just because the cameras that we all carry on our cell phones nowadays, they're probably better than 99.9% of those fancy cameras that are out there. And how many people really know how to use those fancy cameras? I mean, I understand, I, I've been told, because I don't know how to use them, that even on my iPhone, that they've got an F-stop, whatever the heck that means, and you can delay the shutter speed, whatever that means, and can I just point and click, and then send it to Josh, and he can fix it for me? That's, you know, that's kind of how we do things around here. National Camera Day. Almond Butter Crunch Day. Is that kind of like uh, Butterfingers? Where's the chocolate on there? Okay. Handshake day. Nah, okay. At least we're not fist bumping. National waffle iron day. Just give me the waffle. I don't need the iron. Give me the waffle. Waffle iron day. International day of the tropics. Uh, my, does that mean pina colada? Now, here's the one I want to see. I, I don't know if we have a picture of this one. Is, is there still, do you still have ice cream man going, going around there on the streets? Remember when we were young, you used to have the, you, you hear the, the truck with the jingle going and everybody ran outside to see the ice cream man. And that's where you got the National Bomb Pop Day. Do they, do they have bomb pops anymore? I don't even know if they have those. Okay, they have, they've got them. <sighs> Make a mess all over. I My mom didn't like it when I had those things, but. You know, it's, uh, you make a mess all over the place, and you've got the popsicle with the colors. It's not like the Virgin Galactic bomb pop, but that's a whole different story. Let's see what the markets are doing. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average now up 234 points. S&P 500 up 16. The NASDAQ up 8. Oil up 2 cents a barrel. You know, markets are going crazy. There's a, maybe a little bit of a misleading information going there but i do have some breaking news we want some of it's been verified some of it is not <music> president biden on the forefront again saying that russia is losing the war with iraq i think they're fighting they're not fighting iraq just throw that out there mr president now the part that's not verified I, you know, the president does have a tendency to, you know, make some mistakes here and there, some gaffes, like the economy is doing really well. But the president does have an, a way of doing that. There is no confirmation yet that the president went for a ride in his Corvette, went to Bank of America and ordered two quarter pounders. No confirmation of that one yet. But we are working on that. Uh. 
News coming out of the Supreme Court strikes down affirmative action. Eh. Well, most people don't want to listen and realize that when affirmative action went into, into effect, the Supreme Court actually said that there should be a day when this comes to an end. Eh, so not going to be able to say you're a minority, you need to get into the school. Of course, who knows what's going on right now with these things. Another Supreme Court ruling, Christian United States Postal Service mailman didn't want to work on Sundays because it's the Sabbath. Supreme Court upheld that. They said that is correct. That can be done. So watching that one, we're still waiting, though. They're supposed to be coming out with their report or their, their decision on student loan debt today. So you know that we're doing a big, big campaign on helping you or your friends, family, coworkers deal with student loan debt. RSR studentloanhelp.com rsrstudentloanhelp.com we are dealing with it there are resources on there we're coming out with daily weekly uh, videos from our partners over at loan sense to help you with this so we're going to be coming out with a lot of data on this watching for it you need to be staying tuned to Ron Siegel Radio or just go to rsr student loan help we're going to actually have a method for you where you can go right there, rsrstudentloanhelp.com. You'll be able to sign up to get updates as we release them so that you can get some help on your student loans. I've already seen one payment that was dropped by 90%, 90% on their payment. Now, unfortunately, in that individual, they went to the and converted their student loans from public phones, loans, federal student loans, to private, and they didn't get to take advantage of the programs. There are 11 different programs out there to help you with student loan debt. We want to make sure that you're getting what you're entitled to. So be real careful of that one. Don't make a mistake and go and uh, go go and, and refinance them until you've gone to RSR Student Loan Help. Dot com. We're going to take a break a little early today because we've got a couple workshops where we're going to talk about what is the benefit of high interest rates to you right now. We're going to talk about that. Where will you go if you sell? Newly built homes might be the answer. What home buyers need to know about credit scores and more. Reach me anytime. Off air number 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. Facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube. Ron Siegel, the numeral 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Ron Siegel Radio. Your home and mortgage connection. Are you paying rent because you cannot afford to live in your dream home? Are you paying rent because you don't believe you have the down payment funds to purchase your own home? At Siegel Lending Team at RonIsMyLender.com has up to $25,000 to help qualified people purchase their own home at amazing interest rates. Contact the Siegel Lending Team today at RonIsMyLender.com. Again, RonIsMyLender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037. RonIsMyLender.com. Do you know a homeowner experiencing divorce? Do you know a real estate reference and the divorce decree could cost tens of thousands of dollars? A certified divorce mortgage planning and real estate report could save you thousands of dollars and it's free from your local certified divorce lending professional. Reach out to Ron today. Ronismylender.com. Again, Ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Are you a renter and tired of making monthly payments? Paying off someone else's mortgage? Hey, it's Ron Siegel here to help you stop renting and start owning your dream home with amazing low interest rates. And you could potentially qualify for a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket. So stop renting, start owning with Ron Siegel. Learn more at ronsiegelradio.com and start owning today. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Are you like many of your neighbors trying to figure out how to pay off your debts so you could retire someday? Build bigger savings. Invest in opportunities. Visit rsrnodebt.com. 
Debt will destroy 50% of Americans from being able to retire earlier and with more. What if you could have a guaranteed program that could show you how to eliminate all of your debt in 10 years or less, all without having to spend more each month than you spend right now? Yes, that's correct. All without spending more from your checkbook each month than you are today. Get your free analysis today to see if you qualify. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Log on today for your free analysis, rsrnodebt.com. No purchase necessary. The free analysis takes only two minutes. rsrnodebt.com. Ron Siegel Radio is your home and mortgage connection. Go to rsrnodebt.com. rsrnodebt.com. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990. 1990, the Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready to throw that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Every day at this time, OPMMI, they provide the most comprehensive, accurate, timely, and interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry calculated from actual locked rates. The rates, they don't give us APR points paid, points received, just the rate with consumers across 42% of all mortgage transactions nationwide. 30-year conforming loans, 6.694. Jumbo loans, 6.896. FHA loans were up, 6.618. USDA loans, 30-year, 6.628. That's for the rural areas. Generally, no down payment. That's you, Beaumont. And the best loan on the market for those that earned it, the 30-year VA loan, 6.396. That was down ever so slightly, but what's happening today? 10-year Treasury, that one is up 15 basis points. Wow, that's up a lot. S&P 500 is up 16, and the mortgage-backed securities are down 69 basis points. That's huge, and that means interest rates are up. What's driving this? Well, it could be, and it most likely is, Juneteenth. You might say, Ron, what the heck are you talking about Juneteenth now? Well, here's the issue. The thing that seems to be driving the bond market right now is the fact that the initial jobless claims, measuring individuals filing for unemployment benefits for the very first time, fell 26,000 to 239,000. Big drop after three straight weeks of claims above 260,000. But this was a holiday week. It was shortened by one day. Since it's a newer holiday, the seasonal adjustments may not be quite accurate and most likely postponed filing for unemployment benefits if they were laid off. Removing some of the noise, the four-week moving average moved up to 258,000, which is the highest since 2021, November 2021. Remember, this is a volatile index, and the previous numbers were still people getting laid off and filing for unemployment benefits. This is a new crop of individuals that were laid off, albeit a lower amount than previous three weeks. The trend is still higher. So we'll see what happens. We may find out that next week we have a significantly higher number because that measures last week. And then we'll go back into the holidays and all that stuff again. But at least July 4th has been around for a while. So it may be that that one is the seasonal adjustments, albeit they could be skewed for the benefit of those wanting them that way. Apartment list rental report. The apartment list national rent report showed that rents rose 0.4% in June and are now flat 
on a year-over-year basis, down from 0.9% in the previous report. Keep in mind that these are only new leases. When including renewals, blended rents, including renewals, are, go, are going up 3.7%, according to CoreLogic. Vacancies were reported at 7%, with more supply coming to market. This points to slower new rent growth in the future and lower inflation numbers. Pending home sales. Measure signed contracts on existing homes fell 2.7% in May, which was weaker than estimates of a 0.5% drop. Additionally, April was revised lower by 0.4%. Sales are now down 22% from last year. Lack of signed contracts is all due to there being no existing home inventory. The demand is there, as there were a little over three offers for each listing. So multiple offers once again on the inventory inventory store. New listings, according to Realtor.com, is down 25% from last year. Simply put, if there are more homes for sale, there'd be more sales. Pretty simple numbers. And finally, we got the first quarter GDP reading of the first quarter, the final reading for Q1 GDP showed that the U.S. grow at 2% annualized rate which was revised for higher from previous reading of 1.3. This is much stronger than estimates of 1.4, but it's still sequentially lower than 2022 Q4 GDP of 2.6%. Strange to see such a big re- revision after lower readings for the first two looks at this. But a revision to trade was the main reason for the upside surprise. While this was higher in weight on bond market, it's still old news and more recent data in corporate earnings point to a slower economic post uh, SVB in Q2. And as you know, the president's out there telling everybody how great our economy is, Well, but he doesn't talk about the unemployment numbers of the first time claims that we've been seeing that are the highest since November 2021. Doesn't talk about real income being down ever since he took office. Doesn't talk about the cost of eggs and groceries being up cost of gas prices being up. So not exactly sure what the excitement is, but the president uh, did come out with his report and the media will cover it as they always do. That's the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make a call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. So we want to give you a little bit of a workshop today, and I I don't know, I'm doing this totally blind, but Josh is going to help me with this, as he always does. So Josh, I just put up our screen, higher rates can be a benefit to your buyer. I can't see you right now, so just tell me verbally, Can are you seeing my screen? Yeah. Okay, so here it is. Higher rates can benefit... You, the buyer? Really? Why do higher rates benefit the buyer? Let's go through it. So we know inflation is on its way down. We're watching it. We've got a chart right here of inflation on its way down. And you can see where we were, 6.6. Now we're down to you know, right around the, the about a little under 5.6. Inflation, we know, is on its way down. It's still got a lot of lagging data in there. Apartment list rent year over year. So we know shelter costs are 43% of core CPI. Core CPI is a consumer price index removing food and energy for those that don't need to eat. So if you look at the chart that's on the screen, if you're watching us on ronsegalradio.tv, any of our socials, or the ABC News and Talk AM 1490 video feed, you can see this chart of what it looks like for shelter costs. And this is a lagging number because you don't go out and get a new apartment lease or rent or house and it's not a spur of the minute. What happens right now takes time to filter into the reports. So it's a lagging indicator, but it's still 43% of core CPI. So look at where that's at right now. And you can see here, you know, some people may have got their lease on the roller coaster. If you can use the analogy of a roller coaster, some people may have got their lease and they're still showing on the way up, as you can see on the left side of the screen. Again, if you're on radio, listening to us on radio, 
You can go to Ron Siegel Radio on Facebook. You can visit Ron Siegel One on YouTube. We're on LinkedIn at Ron Siegel. We're on Twitter. We're all over the place, right? So you can see these slides. You can see this presentation. We'll share this workshop as a standalone as well. But you can see on this screen how Shelter CPI is on the left side, still shows it's going up. But we know, based on what current data is, that it's really on the way back down. It's on the other side of the apex there of the roller coaster. You can see that as we've got it on the screen. So let's go back to our chart. Shelter costs are lagging, and they're legitimately right now at about 3%. But wait a second. CPI is showing them at 7.9%. They will catch up. They always do. So what is the difference? The 4.9 is the spread between 7.9 and 3.0. That's 4.9. You take that times the 0.43, which 43% of core CPI is shelter costs. If shelter were caught up, core CPI would not be 5.5. It would be 3.5. Where is the Federal Reserve when we're looking for that? Such an idiot. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Don't do that in the middle of a workshop. Okay, so we know that we're off there by that margin of what those numbers are looking at. Now, let's look at existing inventory. You can see back in 2007, existing inventory was about 4 million units. 2023, where are we? 980,000, less than 25% of the amount of inventory available, available existing inventory for sale. So you can see where that number is going to. Existing home inventory, let's take a look at the real story now. So you've got existing homes in inventory, 980,000. Under contract, which means they're not available for sale, is 402,000. That means our active listings, actual inventory, is 578,000 units. Remember, we were comparing that to 4 million before. So active existing home listings in the U.S., you can see right there where they're at 578,000 compared to uh, back in 2017. We're over 1 point, almost 1.5 million units. So you can kind of see where some of these numbers are. January 2020, you can see where we had that little bit of a recession, a short recession right in there. And you can see how the the existing home listings have been coming down. They're starting to go back up, and then they came back down again. So we're watching all of these numbers. So let's use the current market as an opportunity because you can't get to the exact bottom. You're not going to ever buy at the very bottom of any market. But what can you do? The seller right now is, right now, the seller, if you look at the seller, they're, they're seeing the market coming down. They're seeing challenges out there. When a seller sees challenges, do you think they're more uh, inclined to set their price high or low? They might say, you know something, I want to I want to move from California to Tennessee. I want to move from uh, Orange County to the the de to Palm Springs, Palm Desert, whatever. I need to make sure I get what I need right now. I don't want to wait because. How far down is this market going to go? Is the market going to continue going down? We've already seen that values, according to FHFA and Case Schiller, values already bottomed out. But does everybody know that? They're listening to the information that came from Chapman University last Thursday, reprinted in the Orange County Register on Friday, saying that home values are dropping. They were talking about median values, not an error, just a bad piece of data or a misleading piece of data. FHFA, Case Schiller, Black Knight, Zillow, all of them have already shown that we, we started going down. We, we peaked out previously, June of 2022. We're pretty much heading back up the other way right now, but let's take a look at this. Once the prices start going up, once the media starts saying the prices are going up, the seller is more confident and says, you know something? I think I'm going to put my house up for sale right now. More competition for the sellers. Now, right now, you don't have to worry about it because the seller's fearful that there's eh, maybe they're not, they don't want to sell right now. They don't they want to wait. Okay, we'll see what happens. We never get to the exact bottom. So let's look at the last market bottom cycle. 
And you can see the Case Shiller Home Price Index, what's happened. May 2011, you can see how the prices went down all the way till January of 2012. Then they started going up to January of 2013. Generally, according to Chapman University, and I love Chapman. I'm, a, I'm an alumni. They do some great work over there. Historically, when you have a market bottom, 54 months to the bottom, 54 months back to the top again. So 8% appreciation over the next year after the bottom, even with 2.4 million in inventory. You can see where those numbers went from March of 2022 going to January of 2023. Now, let's take a look at some more numbers. 2012, 2.4 million. Right now, we're at 980,000 on, on 2023. We're way below the inventory numbers. Inventory starts going up when people start feeling better about the economy and where they might be able to move. Sellers don't want to go to the Coleman. They want to get a new house. That's what their needs are. So let's use current market as an opportunity. The home value, 500000 mortgage for 100000 Double it, triple it, whatever your part market is. Rates have risen about 1%. They're going up today. Monthly payment increase over 30 years is $257. Increase over the year is $3,084. So think about this. If you are the buyer now and rates go up, continue to go up as they might, you're going to save. If rates go down, you can restructure. Prices rise as rates decline because rates, when they go down, what if they go down to five and a half? Chapman said 5.8 uh, by the end of the year. Next, I think it was, I don't remember, this year, next year. 5.8 is what Chapman said the rates are going to go down to. So restructure. Prices rise as rates decline. So you're going to get more buy now, and you're going to get more appreciation and then restructure to save on your expense. Think about that. So the savings is 10000 on the interest if they go down 2%, if with no guarantees. Prices rise as rates decline, 3% estimate. That's 15% appreciation. So you save 10 on the on the expenses, 15 on the appreciation, you gain 15 on the appreciation. That's a $20,000 is your benefit. Think about that. Figure that out. That's the workshop for you. And we appreciate you watching it. If you want more information on this, give me a call, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel one on YouTube. We're going to come back and talk about where will you go if you sell? Maybe a newly built home is the right answer. What home buyers need to know about credit scores? We'll talk about that and more. Reach me again, 800 306 1990. We'll be back in just a few. Ron Siegel Radio. Your home and mortgage connection. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 0186945. Are you like many of your neighbors trying to figure out how to pay off your debts so you can retire someday? Build bigger savings. Invest in opportunities. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Debt will destroy 50% of Americans from being able to retire earlier and with more. What if you could have a guaranteed program that could show you how to eliminate all of your debt in 10 years or less, all without having to spend more each month than you spend right now? Yes, that's correct all without spending more from your checkbook each month than you are today. Get your free analysis today to see if you qualify. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Log on today for your free analysis, rsrnodebt.com. No purchase necessary. The free analysis takes only two minutes, rsrnodebt.com. Ron Siegel Radio is your home and mortgage connection. Go to rsrnodebt.com rsrnodebt.com Are you a renter and tired of making monthly payments? Paying off someone else's mortgage? 
Hey, it's Ron Siegel here to help you stop renting and start owning your dream home with amazing low interest rates. And you could potentially qualify for a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket. So stop renting. Start owning with Ron Siegel. Learn more at ronsegalradio.com and start owning today. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Are you tired of paying rent? Are you tired of paying someone else's mortgage? Do you know qualified folks can potentially purchase a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket? Ron Siegel can help qualified people purchase their own home at amazing interest rates. If you're tired of paying someone else's mortgage, reach out to Ron today at ronismylender.com. That's ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Do you know a homeowner experiencing divorce? Do you know a real estate reference and the divorce decree could cost tens of thousands of dollars? A certified divorce mortgage planning and real estate report could save you thousands of dollars, and it's free from your local certified divorce lending professional. Reach out to Ron today. Ronismylender.com. Again, Ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Homeowners over the age of 62 are taking back financial control after retirement with reverse mortgages, and the Siegel Lending Team is here to help you use it to your advantage. Call Ron Siegel with Geneva Financial to receive your free information booklet with no obligation. The booklet answers all your questions, and the best part is you still own your home. Call Ron Siegel at 1-800-306-1990 or visit ronsiegelradio.com. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or any time. At 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. The Real-Time Real Estate segment today being brought to you by rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com. Great app, great tool. All you have to do is make use of it, rsrmoney.com. Monitor your bank account, credit scores, asset accounts, Yes, it does tell you the value of your property based on four different sources, three good ones plus Zillow, and 97% of the the properties available for sale in the marketplace are right there, rsrmoney.com. Where will you go if you sell? Newly built homes might be the answer. You want to sell your house but hesitate because you're worried you won't be able to find your next home in today's market? You're not alone. But there's some good news that may ease your worries. New home construction is up and is becoming an increasingly significant part of the housing market. That means when you go to put your house on the market this summer, considering newly built homes is crucial for expanding the options you'll have for your next move. Near record percentage of new home inventory, newly built homes today, make up a near record percentage of the total number of homes available for sale. If you are watching us on ronsegalradio.tv, any of our socials, the ABC News and Talk, AM 1490 video feed. Newly built homes make up 31% of total inventory. Doesn't happen very often where newly built is that big a percentage. Why do you think it's that big of a percentage? Well, the builders have confidence that they're going to sell their properties because these homeowners are not putting their properties up for sale. In fact, as the data shows, newly built homes now make up 31% of the total for sale inventory. Over the past couple of decades, newly built homes made up an average of only about 13% of total housing inventory from 1983 to 2019. That means the percentage of the total available homes that are newly built is over two times higher than the norm. Why does this matter to you? Overall, Supply of homes for sale is still low, and when there's limited supply, it's crucial to explore all of your available choices. New home construction has emerged as a game changer with increasing inventory. Not to mention, recent data shows it's gaining even more momentum 
as more newly built homes are underway and will be coming but will be coming to the market in the months ahead. Robert Dietz, chief economist at the National Association of Home Builders, NAHB, highlights the importance of newly built homes for those looking to buy in today's housing market. Dietz states, quote, with limited available housing inventory, new construction will continue to be a significant part of prospective buyers' search in the quarters ahead, unquote. Do not overlook this growing market segment and risk missing out on great opportunities to find your ideal home. Since new home construction accounts for roughly 31% of total for sale inventory, you could be cutting nearly one in three options from your search if you do not consider newly built homes. If you're looking to make a move, a local real estate agent can help you sell your current house and explore newly built options in your area. They have the expertise you need to handle both sides of the process so you can move out of your current house and into your brand new dream home. Professional tip from your local or your radio consumer advocate. If you're going to look at a newly built home, do not give them your name when you go to the property. Unless you're going in with your agent. Or make sure you let them know you're represented by an agent. Because what happens is they've already got a commission built into that price. So your agent can get paid to represent you. You want somebody to represent you, your interests. The salesperson there does not represent you. They work for the builder. So they're not going to be working on your behalf. They're not going to be negotiating on your behalf. You can't serve two masters. You can't chase two rabbits. It doesn't work. But if you go there without representation and give them your name, they say, aha, Mrs. Jones is already one of our people. We're not going to pay Agent John or Agent Mary because we already knew them. You didn't bring us anybody. Don't give them your name unless you tell them you're represented. Bottom line, now's the time to sell your house and take advantage of the momentum that's building in new home construction. Let's chat about this. Give me a call at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, so we can chat about these things to see what is right for you. That's the real-time real estate segment brought to you by rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com. I want to make sure that you, you are aware that there are a lot of good things going on in this market for you to buy. And I'm going to suggest to you that one of the big benefits of buying right now, and I, I hear this so many times every day. I talk to a lot of real estate agents. I get a lot of calls from the radio show. I get a lot of text messages, all sorts of methods where people are reaching out and saying, Ron, I've got a, a mortgage. And it's like a three or three and a half percent mortgage. There's no way that I can be going and getting a uh, selling and get anything of value because I don't want to give up that mortgage. And that may be correct, but it may be only half the story. The other half of the story might be that you bought in 2020 or before and you've got a boatload of equity still in your property. Now, with you've got that equity, what you want to be looking at is saying, okay, what does my other debt situation look like? Do you have cars, boats? No, I don't. You don't have trains. Do you have, do you have student loan debt? Do you have credit card debt? Do you have unsecured debt? Those are all things that go into your credit profile. Now, you may be looking at all these things and saying, ah, oh, okay, when I put all those things in and you don't most likely don't know how to do this. We've got a blended rate calculator that we can use at any given time. You may look and see, okay, well, I had a 3.5% mortgage, but my household blended rate is 6.5%. Okay, now let's take a look and see when we put all those things together, and I've done this with people before, where if they were to just go and refinance and take some of the cash out, they might be looking at a 6.5% or 7% new mortgage rate, but they've taken and gotten rid of all that debt. And what that does is that might save them. One case I saw, it saved $1,300 a month 
just by going and making an even swap. Blended household rate now versus new mortgage rate. They didn't even save anything in the percentage, but they saved $1,300 because of how the restructuring of this works. And I'm not going to get into all of the amortization tables and all those things because now you've got two different options here. One option is you can go in there and start making that 1300 savings and using that as a, 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 adding it to principal every month. So you're going to cut probably 10 to 15 years off the payment time. Now, I think that we've got this still up, Josh. Can you check it? RSRnodebt.com. RSRnodebt.com. I believe that we've still got that opportunity available. But you're saving money, saving time on the mortgage. Now, let's take a look at the other option here. So you can go in and put all this information in there, rsrnodebt.com. You can send us a schedule with your debt. Tell us what your mortgage amount. You can even send us statements. I don't care what you redact. But you can send us a mortgage statement, all of your auto statements, all of your banks, your uh, uh, credit card statements. Again, redact account numbers. We don't care. Uh, any of your unsecured debt statements. We need to see the balance. We need to see the interest rate. We need to see the payment amount and what kind, you know, how long is left on every one of them. Send all of that to rj at ronsegalradio.com, rj at ronsegalradio.com. Or you can put it all on a schedule with all that data. We'll figure out what the blended household interest rate is. So let's continue on this. Um, Hang on, let me go back here one second because I didn't see this message. Linda, I don't have any idea of the percentage of new homes specifically in Orange County versus resale. We may be able to get that from our friends over at Altos Research, but I'll, and I'll double check that. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll look, take a look at it. Appreciate the, uh, the inquiry, so it'll give us something. Give, give me something to do for this afternoon. Um, but I want to go back and chat about this. How do you, let's talk about listing your house, though. What if you're living in Orange County and you want to move out to La Quinta, Palm Desert, Indian Wells? You want to go to Tennessee? You want to go to Idaho? What's the opportunity there? Well, it's the exact same. Because what you can do is sell your house. And let's say you've got that million-dollar house here in Orange County, California. That's a little bit below the median price. Let's say you have that and you've got a $500,000 mortgage still. So you've got $500,000 in equity. Well, what happens if you take 100000 of that and you pay off all your debts? I don't know how much your debts are, but let's just say, for instance, you pay off your debts for 100000 That still leaves you $400,000 to buy a new house for your down payment. Now, you could go out and buy a million-dollar house in Idaho, Tennessee, Palm Desert, any of those places. You can go out there and buy a million-dollar house and put 20% down. Hmm, that's $200,000 out of our $400,000 that was left over. Remember, we had $500,000 in equity. We used $100,000 to pay off the debt, and we have 20% down. So that's 200,000, so that's 800,000 total. So now we've got $200,000 left. Don't go blow it. Don't go buy a boat, car, depreciating assets. You know, you can talk to our friend Todd Halterman, he can help you invest that at a, at, and get you a good rate of return, safe, secure investments. I don't give that kind of advice. But think about that. Now you've taken and you're saving money because your new payment is going to be less because the new payment on the 800,000 is going to be less again because of the same structure that we talked about if you do just a straight debt consolidation refinance. But now you've got another opportunity to sell your existing house, buy a new house where you want it. Maybe you needed a bigger house, doesn't matter, whatever. Or you can even go into, if you're over 62, you don't have to be, but over 62, maybe you want to go in and buy a new property with a reverse mortgage. So you never have another mortgage payment for the rest of your life. You may have enough cash to do that. These are all options. Now, if you just say, well, i got a 3.5% mortgage, there's nothing I can do. Well, I've just shown you how that's not necessarily true. 
how you can sell your existing property, take advantage of the market today, either move up, get that move up house, right size house, different geographical area, whatever it is that you're looking for, just shared with you right there how you can do that and save money and afford it and not worry about the fact that interest rates are double where they were where you may be right now. And oh yeah, by the way, if interest rates go down again, which they probably will, they're all psych- cyclical. You can refinance and save even more money. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, what home buyers need to know about credit scores. We'll talk about that. You can reach me anytime. Our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Or ronsegalradio.com. Facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube. Ron Siegel, the numeral 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Ron Siegel Radio. Your home and mortgage connection. March Madness might be over, but the game is still on for home buyers. Don't let misrepresentation of home appreciation outlook get you down. The FHFA says that despite the Fed doubling interest rates, home prices are just down less than 1% from their peak last June. What are you waiting for? It's time to shoot your shot and start your home buying journey with rsrmoney.com. They will guide you through every step, making the process as smooth as a three-pointer. Visit rsrmoney.com now and make your dream home a reality. Are you a renter and tired of making monthly payments? Paying off someone else's mortgage? Hey, it's Ron Siegel here to help you stop renting and start owning your dream home with amazing low interest rates. And you can potentially qualify for a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket. So stop renting. Start owning with Ron Siegel. Learn more at ronsiegelradio.com and start owning today. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. The Your Credit Matters segment today being brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. You have a credit report? It's wrong. What are you doing about it? Credit Sanitizer has these solutions for you. It's kind of funny. We've had this report sitting in our folder for the shows for the entire week. Might have even been from last week, and I haven't been able to get to it because I talk too much. But I want to get this report to you. What home buyers need to know about credit scores. If you think about buying a home, You should know your credit score is a critical piece of the puzzle when it comes to qualifying for a home loan. Lenders review your credit to assess your ability to make payments on time to pay back debts and more. It's also a factor that helps determine your mortgage rate. An article from Bankrate explains, quote, your credit score is one of the most important factors lenders consider when you apply for a mortgage, not just to qualify for the loan itself, but for the conditions. Typically, the higher your score, the lower the interest rates and better terms you'll qualify for, unquote. This means your credit score may even feel more important to your home buying plans right now since mortgage rates are a key factor in affordability, especially today. According to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, the median credit score for U.S. for the U.S. for those taking out a mortgage is 765. Remember, that's median, half above, half below. But that does not mean your credit score has to be perfect. An article from Business Insider explains generally how your FICO score range can make an impact. Quote, you don't need a perfect credit score to buy a house. Aiming to get your credit score in the good range, 670 to 739, would be a great start towards qualifying for a mortgage. 
But if you're wanting to qualify for the lowest rates, try to get your score within the very good range, 740 to 799. Working with a trusted lender is the best way to get more information on how your credit score could factor into your home loan and mortgage rate you're able to get. As FICO says, quote, while many lenders use credit scores like FICO scores to help them make lending decisions, each lender has its own strategy, including the level of risk it finds acceptable. There is no single cutoff score used by all lenders. There are many additional factors that lenders may use to determine your actual interest rates, unquote. If you're looking for ways to improve your score, experience highlights some things you may want to focus on. Your payment history. Late payments can have a negative impact by dropping your score. Focus on making payments on time and paying any existing late charges quickly. Your debt amount relative to your credit limits. When it comes to your available credit amount, the less you're using, the better. Focus on keeping this number as low as possible. Credit applications. If you're looking to buy, don't apply for other credit. When you apply for new credit, it could result in a hard inquiry on your credit that drops your score. When you're ready to start the home buying process, a lender will be able to assess which range your score falls in and tell you more about the specifics for each loan type. Bottom line, with affordability challenges today, prioritizing ways you can have a positive impact on your credit score could help you get a better mortgage rate. If you want to learn more, give me a call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. That's the Your Credit Matters segment, again, brought to you by creditsanitizer.com. You have a credit report, it is wrong. What are you doing about it? Hey, let's talk a little bit more of what we were chatting about in the prior segment about that ways of benefiting your debts. And we talked about that debt consolidation. We talked about rsrnodebt.com, rsrnodebt.com. The one thing that I never did get to in that discussion was if you do the debt consolidation and get rid of all of your debts, or if you buy it, sell your house now, Use part of your equity to get rid of your debts, buy the new house with the rest of your equity. You're going to be looking at a, a interest rate. Now, when you buy the house, not as bad. You're going to have a higher, you're going to have an interest rate that's high simply because that's where the market is right now. Markets go in cycles. Interest rates go up and they go down. Chapman said that they expect interest rates to be at 5.8% as their forecast for this year. Will it get there? I think so, but there's no guarantees. Now, if you do a debt consolidation, staying in your existing property to get rid of these debts, what happens then? Well, there is a loan level price adjustment. That's in the weeds. Don't worry about it. It's one of the fees that gets charged in a, in a cash out refinance. It's just an extra fee means the rate's a little bit higher. But here's the issue. When rates go down, both sessions are going to get better. You're going to go, you're going to be able to get, you should be able to get a lower rate. No guarantees again, but you should be able to get a lower rate. Now, there's a couple of things that are going to be in play here. If you are wise and you pay off your debts, but do not run the bills back up again, your credit score should increase. Go to rsrmoney.com. You can monitor that. rsrmoney.com. If you think there is a need, to get your credit scores up, well, then one of the things you can do is call our, our friends over at Blue Water Credit. Creditsanitizer.com will get you right to them. Creditsanitizer.com. Dave, we can't be saying that on Ron Siegel Radio. That might get us in trouble. But, the, but I agree. But the bottom line here won't happen. The Senate's not there. But the bottom line here is when you if, you if you do this strategically, either a debt consolidation loan staying in your existing property or you sell your house, buy a new house after paying off, using some of that equity to pay off all your debts, your credit scores should increase because your debt utilization is going to go down by definition if you don't run the bills back up. You're going to have paid off several debts or certain debts. So those will be showing as paid as agreed, won't be far enough out, hopefully, that they won't have expired off of the process. 
So the bottom line is, is you should have better FICO scores, which translates into another benefit. So you're going to have the cycle, cyclical benefit of lower scores and the benefit of a better FICO score for lower scores should benefit you, benefit you all the way around. Just got some good information. I hope you have, I hope you have, if you have any questions about any of this, give me a call at 800 306 1990. You can put them on any of our socials. We do monitor that on a regular basis. And make sure you tune in next time. As always, I ask, set that first radio preset button to come back here and join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A big thanks to Josh and Sean for engineering us today. And of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions or meeting our guests, call me anytime. 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or com. And remember, make a lot of money so you can help a lot of people and have a lot of fun. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio. My boss just pushed me over the limit. I'd like to call him something.